welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Our Survival Today. We're returning to Boys and Girls, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, everyone's having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety. That only keeps on getting better from here on out. We are kicking ours off at a chopper event, and then we got an incredible surprise in store for. Oh no, that's not the surprise. They're attacking me. Not cool surprise. Zero out of ten would not surprise again. No, we have an actual cool surprise after we murder these dudes to the ground. That's what you get for trying to double cross me, you freaking dweebs. We're gonna go and loot them up. We got, ooh, pieces of candy. That's what we got. Not actual candy. Unless water is candy. If water is candy, oh my god, I am a candy holic. No, though. After we go ahead and clear out this location, we got. I, dude, I'm just, I, I don't, I don't even know what we necessarily got, but we got us a, oh, baby, let's go, let's not go, literally the worst thing we could have got from that random box, but we got a lot of stuff in store, we have a surprise for me and for all of y'all, because I have no idea even what the surprise does have in store for us, I do kind of want to siphon up the gas that this place has to offer, Let's just make sure that there are no more water bottles that we might be able to potentially take off some of these dead dudes to make the process better. Then we are going to be going on some adventures a little bit later. I am, of course, planning a raid of the daily variety, as we usually do. But first things first, let's go and slowly begin the painstaking process of siphoning gas. Now, Star, why are you calling this process painstaking? Well, mainly because I literally have to do it one bottle of gasoline at a time but also i literally cannot do it past this one bottle because we cannot fill our own personal tank anymore but we do still have one extra bottle to spare so after we use a little bit oh no we got a little bit more okay never mind and then after we use a little bit more gas at some point in the future we will be able to use that extra bit right over there but besides that let's get to the present that i was talking about if y'all follow me over here and i believe this should be available for literally every single one of y'all check your inbox and what do you see but a heart-shaped amazing gift i don't know what's inside of this gift but let's go ahead let's pop this puppy open Whoa! And we got all the red themed stuff in the world. Actually, only one of which I really care about after closer examination. Although five red coupons are not going to be bad because I think we actually have enough coupons to go and pay a visit to Bunker Alpha. So we're going to do that. But the main thing that I love about this gift, and I think you need to log in to get this gift. I think you can only get this today or for the next day because this is, of course, a Valentine's Day gift. We got our hands on the heart not pants, but what's the what's the thing you wear under pants? Underwear. We got our hands on freaking the heart underwear, dude. A Valentine's Day present available to the alls of us. So after grabbing this underwear and putting it to use, we have officially, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, unlocked a new underwear color. As much as I love you, my snowflakes. I gotta, listen, I'm just saying, technically speaking, you gotta love hearts more because A, it's Valentine's Day, B, hearts are like kind of the sign of love, so you gotta love them more, eh, see what I did there, bad pun, okay, uh, third reason, um, uh, uh, d uh, I, I, uh, guys, I, 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 I gotta be honest with you. I, I, I thought I had a third reason. Turns out, no. But that's just how convincing the first two reasons are. And also, of course, okay, I remember the third reason. It's new underwear, baby. Let's go and put this to use, and then we gotta go on a trial run with this stuff. We are gonna be going on some pantsless expeditions, of course, with our friend Travis. The title. And here's the thing, this underwear is probably gonna go really nicely if and when we do manage to get none other than the kitty backpack. Unfortunately, that's gonna take 10,000 zombie teeth, so quite a little bit, but check it out, y'all. Can be obtained as a present for St. Valentine's Day. Well, we got that present. Make sure all of y'all log in to get your hands on this free pair of underwear. Let's click save and let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Just how beautiful our new pair of heart underwear is looking. Oh me, oh my. 
Now this has got me in the Valentine's Day type of mood. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get our weapons prepared because we got a little something else we gotta go ahead and grab from our inbox. Where, oh, where are you? Combat gear coupons. The five of them. Let's go and redeem that for today's Valentine's Day present as well, because we didn't get one sixth of the red crate personally given to us, in addition to all the other bunker alpha crate stuff that we will redeem. Of course, the rest of today is going to be happening entirely pantsless. That includes the raid. We maybe we'll even raid naked. That is a pretty fun pastime, if you ask me. But genuinely, I just love the fact that Last Honors did this, and I really hope that they continue doing stuff like this for future holidays instead of just the temporary armor pieces, because in case y'all do not know, I actually have collected quite a lot of some of these temporary armors and weapons, such as the Guandao over here from the Chinese New Year event. We also have the uh, St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up. Hat, the Patty's hat over there we do have the chinese new year armor and then there have of course been christmas items halloween items that are even temporary pieces of armor that disappear once the holiday does conclude so the thing is is that i just really love the fact that this is kind of our first taste of a holiday item that's a little bit more permanent and i really hope that this system continues to expand where we might even be able to apply these types of skins over here at uh whatchamacall at our dedicated wardrobe where we might then be able to actually apply skins like uh not not the kid but like the backpack skins too freaking travis the turtle dude freaking legend but apply skins for our backpack our underwear and hopefully they expand this to include our hat skins body skins uh which like body armor skins pants skins shoe skins all that type of jazz even weapon skins that would be so freaking incredible if we can actually customize and get custom looking armors as well and hopefully that tends to include us actually being able to get like like free presents like this for valentine's day honestly kafir i gotta give you oh why is this why is this still broken how long has this been broken i gotta freaking fix this up over there not that not anything was being worked on over there but no seriously like i love what last honor did with this i love that for a holiday we do get a little bit of a present like this and that it's a permanent present we don't gotta worry like for example with that saint patrick's day hat i have we don't gotta worry about it disappearing because once you use it it has armor it has durability it will disappear after a certain point we no longer need to worry about that like literally instead of worrying about that we can just like equip the skin and now we can run around in freaking heart underwear dude what else could a man ask for on saint valentine's day answer nothing unless maybe travis could get some hard underwear too i know travis is looking pretty naked over there i'm sorry buddy i'd love to give you some but hey at least you're blending in with my armor you know our top is matching travis our bottom is matching the valentine's day the holiday of love and nothing better than some heart underwear to really demonstrate how much we love this holiday of valentine's day Let's go and make our way down into Bunker Alpha, though, where we're going to be redeeming our little portion of the Valentine's Day present. I love the fact that we got some extra stuff here and there, too. Like, sure, we didn't get the most valuable stuff, but nonetheless, free stuff's free stuff. It's a great kind of, like, show of appreciation from Last Down Earth and Kafir. And listen, I just really hope they continue doing this. I hope that they continue giving skins, whether it be backpack skins and underwear skins, or if they do end up expanding this whole clothing system, which I really think that they are amping up to do. I think they just kind of started it out with this underwear and backpack, and hopefully it does expand to include other pieces of armor because we do like literally see that like the backpacks have like a skin applied to them this could very well happen to pieces of armor as well since this literally takes up an armor slot similarly to some of our other armors so the potential is potentially through the freaking roof dude and i am looking forward to it hopefully all of you boys and girls are as well because the capability for hopefully like i mean not like i don't know there's a lot of potential things i know that i smell bad fast biter no need to tell me by running at me from so far away but I don't know, the potential to hopefully continue getting stuff like this for like St. Patrick's Day. I get a little gift package, you know. And also the potential for that gift package to not just include underwear and backpacks, but different types of armors down the line. And just in general, having different ways of getting this stuff. Because don't get me wrong, I'd prefer that all the armors, like all the backpacks, all the underwear are free. But even if Last Down Earth does want to, you know, sell some of them in the shop, like for example, what they did with the turtle backpack over here. Like as long as they have some free backpacks in addition to the ones you can get like this and they have like a mixture of stuff, I'm kind of okay with that. But especially if they do kind of like this holiday stuff 
that that'd be a big plus for me and i'm i'm a huge fan i'm a huge fan of it but let me know what you boys and girls think of this valentine's day present what do y'all think of the free underwear you are getting in addition to a few of the other little uh, little treats i'm definitely gonna call them little whoa what's up my dude what you doing okay see you later alligator he was just uh just nailing a poster up to the wall all right well we found one of the posters noted was not expecting to see that over there it's the i heart skiing poster so uh yeah i'm not gonna pick that up now i actually want to do a dedicated video showing off where every single poster is but hey if you don't know there's a poster over there uh awesome little note for all of y'all that might be looking for that i will take it dude it's awesome i love how he was like just freaking nailing it to the wall too i was i was surprised i'm like why is there a friendly guy over here did they add someone in no he's just nailing a poster to a wall i don't know why he's just a big big poster guy big poster guy over here let's go ahead and continue uh looting up everything that we can because we are also whoa let's freaking go chopper gas taking this yellow crate plus an uzi and the glockma 17 that's some wonderful stuff if you ask me baby and of course let's see what the true valentine's day present has in store for us the red ticket crate itself no way no way no way no way me let's go that's another one baby we got some acid some shotgun rain a little bit of pistol drizzle 8k 47 of course the chopper gas tank and some other awesome stuff here and there we will return to pick up every single one of these but first I got a bone to pick, and that bone's with the little shub one in the hard mode third floor. Because if we're going to Bunker Alpha, we got to pay our buddy a visit. The blind one. It's Valentine's Day, uh, almost at this point. Yeah, I, I don't know why they started giving out this present so early, but at the same time, I do not mind. The earlier, the better, because it's a freaking nice present, like I was saying. And uh, like, hopefully it is a sign of things to come. Like, like I'm saying, there's a couple of things pointing towards the wardrobe functionality potentially expanding and us being able to get custom shirts, or skins, hats, all that type of jazz as well. But this is definitely just a great sign of future holidays to come and hopefully them including like free little packages and gifts like this as well. And that just has me really freaking excited for what all of this could be meaning once all is said and done like i'm saying let me know what you boys and girls do think of the valentine's day gift i love the fact that they included of course the skin that's like probably, that's the biggest thing it's the fact that they are giving away free skins like this periodically and hopefully they continue to for future uh future stuffs like this holidays that's the word i was thinking of like i really hope that we do continue to see that we got st patrick's day coming up we got easter we definitely got some prime holidays it's prime holiday season i mean christmas is unfortunately behind us so that would have been an awesome holiday to go ahead and uh drop some sort of a skin on as well let's go ahead and kill the explorer before he decides to go a boom boom Ooh, we got a red ticket out of that you love to see it let's go and equip a little bit of saw blade mace action over here but yeah, like i'm saying let me know what your boys and girls do think of the present and this idea of the wardrobe functionality expanding to include more but definitely let me know about your valentine's day present what y'all think of the freaking hard shaped underwear over here and uh, just what you think of the valentine's day gifts in general i'd absolutely love to hear about that in that comment section uh, down below and a reminder that that comment is gonna put you one third of the way it's the weekly 25 dollar i two slash place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to make sure to hit that like button make sure to subscribe to that little sure you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on our video when saturday rolls around we'll pick random for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that's will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off for the weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention okay i'm not gonna punch you to death all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well in case y'all have not already definitely make sure to keep an eye out for some of the other videos going up in addition to last day on earth because we got some awesome survival series going on that if you guys like last day on earth great chance you're going to be enjoying some of the other stuff we're checking out highly recommend the seven days to die series for example where we got some really awesome stuff going on in there it's a giant open world where we're looting all sorts of guns exploring towns and cities killing zombies and we got to worry about this massive zombie horror that shows up every seven days that's why it's called some days to die and here's the thing that horde uh yeah oh no they noticed us well this is not good but let's get it uh yeah that horde is gonna be a very very nasty horde compared to the horde that you might be used to over here in last day on earth that horde is actually threatening the last day on earth horde is a pushover more of a nuisance over anything else and okay i'm just gonna let him go boom he's gonna die oh my god i didn't die the power of the heart-shaped pants compels us, baby. That right there is incredible. Although I, dude, that did literally 
115 damage to us. Bless up that we had full health when that happened. Otherwise, that could have been really bad. Oh, please don't shoot me, turret. Oh, my God. I can't believe that I did not get shot at. Oh, there's a poster over there. Noted. Well, it looks like we got to kill that turret at some point. But today is not the day. Let's go ahead and open this up and make our way to battle the blind one. Let's make sure to equip some weapons. And hopefully... Mm, honestly, now that I think about it, I should have brought some pants, because this is gonna hurt. Well, I suppose that's for us to deal with the power of the heart pants compels us, baby! The heart underwear and Travis the backpacker will lead us to victory. Da! And okay, we just gotta be very careful to, like, heal right before every hit that the blind one does, because he does do 24 damage a pop, so uh, it's gonna be very, very painful. Hello, blind one. Yeah, when we drop down to 24 health, we gotta be sure to heal. Otherwise, things will get very, very bad. Let's go ahead and let you run into that wall over there and get a little bit more pistol drizzle. Did it face, did it face? And one of our pistols has broken, unfortunately. That's okay. No, 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 no sneaky snacks for you, my dude. Let's eat up a little bit of food, honestly. That might make this slightly less painful. We gotta be ready to equip, actually, another pistol after things go south here. Let's go ahead and let him run into that wall, and then we will deal with that. But that notification bell will also keep you all in the loop, not just with some of the awesome current series that we have going on that y'all should definitely check out and follow up on, because let me just say, it's an awesome series to catch up on, especially Seven Days to Die, for example, and any of the other series that we are checking out. But also, whenever a new game does come out, and I'm actually keeping my eyes and ears peeled on some really awesome games coming soon, and if y'all like Last Day on Earth, you are going to love some of the stuff that we are going to be checking out on the channel here soon, so make sure to give all of that stuff a look when the time does come, when you do see a new type of video on the channel, to definitely be sure to go ahead and check it out, and okie dokie, I'm going to let this guy just kind of like run into that wall over there, he's going to hit it pretty hard, I'm going to equip another pistol over here, and then we're going to hit him a few more times, our shoes are about to break though, which is really bad because we're about to start taking more damage per hit oh my god no we're still alive bless up dude i don't know how the shoes survived but they did let's go and put these finishing blows into the blind one see you later alligator happy valentine's day hope you liked my underwear whoa oh my god happy valentine's day to me the blind one gave me head the blind one's head yo this is uh, this is blind one thank you this means so much to happen on Valentine's Day. I haven't gotten ahead from the blind one in a hot minute. I think Valentine's Day improves your chances of getting some head from the blind one. It's the only logical explanation. Because we got some. Ooh, gun oil. You love to see it. But all right. We're going to go and bring this trophy back home where we can truly savor it. In the trophy cabinet, trophy case. As we prepare for a little bit a lovely Valentine's Day rating. Because, uh, what can I say? Maybe we'll be nice today. Maybe, maybe I'll drop something nice off at someone else's base, you know, to really say happy Valentine's Day to them. Maybe. That'd be a nice little surprise for someone. Who might maybe be having a poopy Valentine's Day to come back to their base and be like, Oh, Star rated me and he didn't steal everything? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Valentine's Day changes you, especially when you get ahead from the blind one. That head? It's all anyone could ask for, man. Let's go and make sure that we loot up all some of, the, some of this awesome stuff awaiting us, like some of the incredible weapons we want to get our little hands on. We need to get our hands on more, of course, but for now, let's go out and equip some of these other pieces of armor as well. Let's make sure to grab some stuff from here. Definitely want to make sure that we pick up some armor. We will return for the stuff. No need to worry. No need to fret, y'all. Um, you know what we can do? Let's eat up some of this jerky. I'll uh, equip a weapon over there, put that away over there, bada bing bada boom, that's two things, and I will put, I guess I could put that away, we'll grab the chopper gas tank from that, and yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, I'm not wearing pants today, y'all, sorry, we gotta flex the freaking Valentine's Day underwear, today is a no pantalones day, but overall, I'd say it's been a pretty good Valentine's Day so far, y'all. But, uh, yeah, definitely keep your eyes and ears peeled for some of the other awesome games that I am waiting for. If y'all like Last Day on Earth, you're probably gonna like some of this other stuff. Because I love Last Day on Earth! And we probably have very similar tastes in, uh, very good games. So make sure to check out some of the other videos whenever we do- we are checking out a new game for the first time. Because there are some really awesome ones that I cannot WAIT! To start a series on, of course, continue our 7 Days to Die series. And of course, to go along with all of that! Well, well, well. We do have the Last Day on Earth series that we are continuing. 
And let me just say, whenever a new update does come out, whenever a new season happens, whenever there are new tasks, new weeks, or even new events, like the bear event going on, that is all stuff that we will be doing, That the, or new season passes to max out, new types of armors and weapons and underwear even, and backpacks and loot and all that type of jazz. When there's something new being added for us to check out, or even something that we know is going to be added, some new info that we get early on, We'll keep y'all on the loop on it. And without further ado, y'all, let's get this Valentine's Day raid underway. After one thing, listen, we got a bit of a raid date coming up. What can I say? We can't be showing up stanky to that. We gotta be on our best game for this raid. And nothing better than a shower to make sure that uh, we're as clean as imaginable. Nothing better than spreading a little bit of vitamin B to making sure that we are completely empty of all potential vitamins and might as well help our corn grow ever stronger thanks to the vitamins. Is my dog eating corn, dog? What you doing, doggo? Come on, doggo. Get out of there. I see you. Bro, I guess I just, I grow good corn. What can I say? I got great taste in corn. Let's make sure that we utilize the restroom before we leave. And of course, let's not forget Travis because there is no wingman better than Travis the freaking turtle, dude. Seriously, Travis is all a lad like me could ask for. And all in all, I'd say we are almost prepared for a lovely raid. Let's make sure that our pistol is well equipped. Cause we trying to be quiet on the, on today's Valentine's Day adventure. You know, gotta, gotta, gotta keep it hush hush. Can't be too loud. Neighbors might hear. <laughs> Neighbors, of course, being the zombies, because they always seem to freaking hear our raiding shenanigans. Player 6 9. <laughs> nice. 4 9. It's your time for Valentine's Day, baby. It is your time. Star, what is in your backpack, y'all? It's some of my Valentine's Day present. I want to leave a little, I want to pay it forward. All right, because I can't give him my heart underwear. Or can I? Oh, no, I can't give you my heart underwear, unfortunately, my compadre, my amigo. But I will leave with you the rest of my Valentine's Day present. That is right. Specifically, just for you, I am paying it forward. This is a sign of my love. Now, please let me into your base. And if you don't let me in, I am going to break in the explosive way. Okay, okay. Glad we're able to come to agreements on this. Now where's the base at? Knock knock, mother trucker. Oh, hello. Well, it appears that uh, it's out to be a little bit easier than expected. That is good. We're already in almost the entire base. Okay, why don't we break into uh, one of these little walls over here. We should be able to sneak right past thanks to this little hole. And what do you know? Bada bing, bada boom. We're in. Let's try to break into Ah, oh, we gotta break into this one manually. So be it. Luckily, we should have more than enough chests to see what this base is all about. Looks like it was a pretty thirsty base. Good thing I'm here now. I'll be taking that water off your hands. Guess you're gonna be thirstier now. Let's see what we got in here. Eh, nothing all that incredible. We are still, of course, ponceless. Just as we gotta be for Valentine's Day. Gotta be rocking the hard underwear. And seriously, I, I do love this underwear personally. I'm actually really happy. A bigger reason that I think I'm really happy with this too is that I think they're giving away for free the best underwear. The snowflakes are a close second, but the freaking hard underwear, dude. It's better than, like, don't get me wrong. The khaki, uh, khaki underwear over here is kind of cool. It's kind of cool, don't get me wrong. But it could be cooler. Could be cooler. Like this. I, I like the fact that everyone gets free snowflake underwear too. Like, honestly, they are giving away a lot of underwear. It's a freaking, like, I, I don't even know. It's like a... Uh, where do, you, where do you buy underwear usually? I I haven't really bought underwear in a while. I I mean, I, I guess what? Uh, listen, my underwear is still clean. Don't you dare even uh, hint at that. Otherwise, I wash my underwear. I don't I don't need more. I got plenty of underwear. I got an underwear stockpile. I got a warehouse filled with underwear. I don't need to buy underwear. But like, where do you buy underwear? Just like a random clothes store? Whatever. Yeah. They're looking like a freaking clearance clothes store out here. Kafir is with all this underwear that they are giving away. And frankly, I don't mind. I do wish that they uh, were a little bit more lenient with the backpacks because the backpacks do appear 
pretty tough to get compared to the underwear. But the underwear is pretty cool. I like underwear. But yeah, looking forward to what y'all do gotta say. I seriously thought that we were about to be attacked already. Looking forward to what y'all do gotta say about uh, the underwear and just about this whole wardrobe thing in general that I am talking about. Because like I'm saying, I do think that's kind of where this could potentially be heading. And personally, I, I, I kind of like that, man. If we get more skins, especially if there are hopefully a good amount of them that we can get by earning it through in-game means and or just getting them as like presents on holidays compared to the presents we were getting before, that's way better. You know, rather than some armor that's going to break if you use it, if we literally get skins that stick around with us regardless of when our armor breaks. Ooh, pieces of candy. I like what I see. Speak, th these are not just any pieces of candy. These are metaphorical little, little candy hearts. Yeah, that's what I mean when I say piece of candy. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. Personally, that does have me really excited. Because that's just going to be a much more improved system. Especially for like holiday giveaways and that type of stuff. But looking forward to what y'all do got to say about it. Make sure y'all have that notification bell hit. And stay tuned as we do keep y'all in the loop. But, ooh, mama. We got more zombies we got to take care of. Let's get to taking care of them, shall we? I don't need pantalones to take care of zombies. This is a national pastime, and I'm dang good at it, baby. One sucks, goodbye, to go. And all the noise that we made that the neighbors heard. Well, guess what? Now the neighbors are dead. We can make all the noise we want. No more need to be silent, but deadly. Just deadly. I'm good at being deadly. I don't know about the silent part. Actually, I'm usually pretty good at it. I definitely prefer to, uh... I don't know. Depends on the gun. Personally, I do like the silencer on the Glocks. I think it does make it more powerful. But on other guns, I definitely prefer to be nice and loud. Alright, now the question becomes, what do I grab out of all of these chests that we have broken into? Because we have broken into every single chest that this base has to offer. But, the problem is, what exactly does the base have to offer? The answer is, unfortunately, nothing that great. But that's okay, because today, I'm dropping off a Valentine's Day present for this base and uh, that makes me feel good about myself and I'm pretty happy with that I am I am I am definitely want to make sure to put away some of the more valuable stuff that we have looted especially the electronic circuit and the engine part those would get the Raiders attention because this is not a revenge raid the Raiders will be asking for their fair share of stuff but if we put stuff away into the chopper the Raiders don't know about that stuff and they'll ask for less when the time does come for us to uh, pay up maybe they'll even see that I left a present for the base, and they'll be like, oh, if you just go in uh, Valentine's Day trick-or-treating, knocking on random doors. I don't think that's how you do it on Valentine's Day, but you know, I don't know. At this point in time, I'm just going to go ahead, roam around, and just try to figure out exactly what I do want to take home out of this entire base. Because we got some options. I'm just not entirely sure what option that I want to go with, so I will be getting to the bottom of that, but as we are doing that, like I'm saying, make sure that notification bell hit. We're keeping you all in the loop with the latest and greatest of last day on Earth. New news, new info, new updates as soon as they come out. Check out all that they have to offer, all that type of jazz. Y'all will know exactly what new stuff there is in the game, how to get that new stuff, what to expect out of the new stuff, if there's new boss battles, new locations to check out, any and all that type of jazz. Y'all will know what these new locations contain, what the new enemies might be like, and how you can be prepared, because we usually go in guns a-blazing. And we figure out what in tarnation new stuff we gotta face off against. Like the zombie bear the other day. And we still do have week three to look forward to, by the way. And week three, I think, is gonna be bringing a new event as well. Not to mention, we gotta get a lot of teeth. Not for Carl, but for the gas station exchange. For a new backpack. Because that kitty backpack will match perfectly with our underwear. And I want that. But with that said, with that done, that's gonna go with this. I wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.